Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Um, the doctor's in with him now. They're just doing these assessments. OK. How's it looking? Well, he's not really talking as such yet. Right. But I can see what he's trying to say. He's just having trouble expressing. It's a bit of a shock, isn't it? Especially for those of us who are close to him. Nothing can really prepare you. No. Oh. I wasn't prepared. Not for the reality. But, you know, that was the first time he was awake. And, honestly, I think you're going to be surprised when you see him. Really? Yeah, yeah. The movement in his hand is better in just one day, and he's able to communicate with pressure. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can nearly hold a pen. I have to wrap his fingers around it, but it's definitely getting stronger. So he can write? No, he, he's sort of having trouble forming the right letters. But I was telling him about April before, and he understood everything, so his memory's all there. And they said the operation was a success. I mean, the surgeon told us that. Yeah. That droop on his face is way less. You notice that too, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Now you mention it. Gail was saying that every patient is really different, and if he carries on like this, then we could be feeding him normally soon, you know? Matched up food, but... Yeah, better than a tube down him. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's a huge step. You'll get there. All done? For now. Oh, um, sorry, this is Paddy. I don't know if you've met before. Um, he's Marlon's best friend. If it's okay, I'd like him to stay. Do you both want to sit down? So, we know that the stroke affected Marlon's speech, cognition and motor functions. And we were hoping that by removing the clot in his brain, we might be able to reverse some of the damage. There are signs of improvement. His facial palsy isn't so pronounced. We said that, didn't we? Yeah, he's making definite strides. But not enough to suggest that we should be optimistic. What do you mean? You have to prepare for the fact that rehabilitation will take months, not weeks. From dressing himself to making a cup of tea, to walking. Marlon will have to learn how to do everything all over again. Marlon's a professional chef. What are you talking about, making cups of tea? I thought... Sorry, um, you said that the operation had worked. Well, clearly not. Can you just be frank with us? Paddy, if we hadn't removed the clot, the damage could have been more significant, even fatal. Yeah, right. I appreciate that, and I'm sorry. But say it is, like, six months. Is he going to come back the same as he was? Or is some of it irreversible? We don't have that information yet. What I'm saying is, it's possible, isn't it? The part of his brain, the cells that didn't get the blood supply, they could be completely dead now. Shut up, Paddy. The doctor has said she doesn't know. I want to get a full picture. Why? What difference does it make? How do you start to relearn it all? To walk, talk? In a way, it's good that he's still youngish. He's stronger. Be able to recover quicker. Yeah, but he's still gonna need so much care. You know, possibly forever. I work. I've got the kids. I can't... I need to go home. You're going home now? Yeah, yeah, I need to pick up some stuff. I've forgotten Marlon Shaver. You'll stay with him, won't you? Yeah, it took as long as you need. Back in a bit. Last of the knots. I'll go out the back to see if there's any more. Hang on a minute. Right, is this some kind of weird Jedi mind trick? Do I look like Yoda? Well, you have got the ears. <laughs> you just went into autopilot. Oh, just come on. This proves. You've been banging your feet now for far too long. You just need to get back to where you belong. Excuse me? I've already got a job. Dishing kippers up for Pollard. No, it's, it's zero hassle and, and good hours. Seriously, babe, you know B and B skivvy. You need to be here, keeping the punters in line. Keep going. Fine. What the hell? I admit I can't do it without you. Okay, it's, it's like Pinky without Perky. Aunt without Deck. Eric without 
Branda. Ernie. You've got Ryan. Now he'll be running the business side. I need you here at the coal face. Look, thanks, but you know, after everything, I, I think I better stick to kippers. Talking of which, three missed calls off the boss, the best skedaddle. <sighs> Just put me right off my nuts, is that? Well, I'm going home. Babe, all you have to say is one little word. Charity, this is us. A little word leads to a bigger word, which then leads to a bunch of rude words, and then bam, no words. Let's just leave it, yeah? Um, yeah, I'm okay. Hey, do, do you want to come in? Um, no, I need to go back and get some things for Marlon. You not got time for a chat, then? I don't know what to do, Laurel. I can't handle this. Come on, love, come on. <laughs> 